My name is Diana Elizabeth. I was born in the late 90s at Nakuru, Lanet Barak. Growing up in that kind of environment made me to realize that nobody is going to pump or cuddle me in a soft way that I had to harden up. In my, in my life, I wanted to be someone who will do the extraordinary, who will do something outstanding. In 2016, I was admitted at, at Multimedia University and I started my course, the Electrical and Telecommunication Engineering Diploma. For my passion, I wanted to do engineering. I did not want to do the science part of it because I wanted to do the physical and the physical and structure of the telecommunication engineering. I wanted to be technical. My first internship, it was not that easy to get, but through the help of NITA, which is the National Industrial Training Authority in Kenya, they help students get attachments in companies. At NITA, I found someone who helped me. He connected me to a company. This company was called Elris Communication Services Limited. It is an internet service provider and a subcontractor of Safaricom. And that's where my journey started. And at that company, there were some ladies, so I was, I was motivated. I was motivated to be like them. Between February and March, I got the opportunity to travel to Uganda. And the first thing I wanted to do was to visit Makerere University. And I had this interest to know how they're learning, if they have engineering courses, and they got to be told, I got to study, I got to research, and it was a happy experience. Telecommunication engineering, it is an industry that affords women the opportunity to grow. The challenges I face is that in this industry, it is male-dominated male and it is stereotyped to be for, for male. Like there are some kind of jobs that you're supposed to do that is very hard, that requires physical energy, that most people believe that a woman cannot have that physical energy to do. This challenge is really, is really hard because it can really drain your self-esteem and it can really drain you to some point that you're like, these people don't believe that I can, I can do this. They don't believe that I have the energy to do this. But in yourself, you know that you are capable. You're capable of going to the milestone. What that guy can do, you also can do. I motivate myself, and my challenges are my motivations. So I really would like to motivate other women to come up and to know that this industry, it is not only male dominated, it, it has some females inside and I have got to interact with them, I have got to be with them and it is a really interesting industry. So young girls who want to come into the telecommunication industry, there are of course there are challenges, of course you have to get your hands dirty, you have to, you have to pull some cables, you have to get into manholes, you have to, to come up with a cable route and that will get you Somehow that, you know, many women don't like uh, their dresses or their, their hands getting hard, their hands getting blisters. But that is a process, that is a transition you have to pass through. You have to understand the, the physical structure, you have to understand the system and the, and the circuit itself. When I came back from Uganda, I realized that I had to start working again. So I was given an opportunity by Connect, which is based at Gidurai 44, and also it's based at Zimmerman, uh, Kamiti Road. Uh, I was given an opportunity to come and show my skills, to prove my skills, to deliver and to be productive. And I really thank Connect for giving me that opportunity. In the next, let's say, 10 years, I would like to be recognized by the Engineers Board of Kenya and I would wish to continue with my studies, maybe get a scholarship and continue with my degree, my master's and maybe two PhD because that will really be a dream come true. And I would like to urge all young girls out there that you, you don't get into a comfortable zone. Just don't settle because your mind is what limits you to what you want to get.